Andy Murray at the moment. And someone who I have a feeling might be keeping an eye over how Shapovalov's getting on his fellow Canadian, Eugenie Bouchard. Eugenie, thank you for joining us live on Sport today. Eugenie, of course, a former Wimbledon thank finalist you. against Petra Kvitova in 2014. Before, Eugenie, we get into today's tennis, just remind us why you're not able to be at these championships this year and how are you feeling? Yeah, thank you for having me, first of all. I, I miss hearing all the British accents. I'm so sad I'm not there this year. But uh, unfortunately, I had to have shoulder surgery a month ago. Um, you can see I have a couple of little scars right here. And uh, I'm out of a sling and I'm on my road to rehab. So I'll definitely be there next year, but I'm, I'm really missing out. It's, it's a little bit, it's, it's torture to watch sometimes on TV right now, but I can't also not watch Wimbledon, so. It's felt like torture at times for Denis Shapovalov. You've seen him get tight, that racket feel a bit heavier, but on the whole, you have to say against Andy Murray, the home favorite, he's done really well so far in this match, hasn't he? He has. He's putting on a great performance. And, you know, it's it's hard to also watch Andy at the same time on center court with all of that support, not able to quite, uh, you know, get himself into it. I think he's about to be down two sets, if I'm correct. So, you know, deep down, I have to be I have to say I'm cheering for Andy because to see what everything he's gone through and to still see him out there battling is just such a joy. And I think I speak for everyone when I say that. Eugenie, we, we saw Andy Murray, I think it was the first point, slip on this centre court surface. There's been quite a lot of scrutiny on it because of the rain that we had across the first two days. We saw Serena Williams, of course, buckle under the surface and unfortunately have to retire. The same thing happened to Adrian Manorino. You've played on this centre court. What are these surfaces like in the early days and how much sympathy do you have for the, the players that have had to go out early because of it? It's been so unfortunate to see. I think they seem to be slipping more than usual this year. I heard someone say maybe it's because there was no tournament last year that the grass is even more like lush and and uh, not worn out at all. Um, I remember my first experience in 2013 on center court. Uh, I played Anna Ivanovic and we were actually supposed to be on court like 18, I think, and they moved us last minute because there was a withdrawal. And in the first game, I slipped and fell on my butt and I was so embarrassed. So, you know what? It's like, it happens to everyone. I saw Roger slip yesterday and it's just, it's part of the game on grass. There's an adjustment that all players have to make when they're playing on this surface. I know you've been following some of the matches today. What was your reaction to watching Ons Jabor against Garbine Muguruza? Because arguably that was the match of the tournament, or at least one of them. Angelique Kerber's game yesterday was outstanding. But what did you make of Jabor and how she's playing at the moment and knocking out the 2017 champion Muguruza? Yeah, she's been playing really, really well. I think she's uh, also been making history for her country and, and just being the first to achieve certain things. I know she won a tournament a couple of weeks ago. And you can just see it by her reaction after winning the match, how much that meant to her. And, uh, you know, I'm really happy for her. And uh, it's just great to watch some good tennis. And Kerber as well, you know, plays great on the grass. I played against her at Wimbledon myself. And she's a tough one to crack for sure. Yep, you're right, Jabor, the first North African woman, the first Arabic woman to get this far at these championships exactly. and certainly playing the tennis of her life at the moment. Uh, what did you make of Sloane Stephens as well, a former US Open champion on her day, got such an incredible game, but she's gone out to the uh, wild card, Sam Sonova. I was, I was sad to see that. I'm, I'm really good friends with Sloane. I've known her since I was like 11 years old and we used to train at the same academy in Florida. So I was sad to see her go down, but we can't forget that in the first round, she beat Petra Kvitova, who has been my Wimbledon nightmare since 2014. So, you know, Petra is unbelievable on the grass. So for Sloan to get that win, I was very impressed with that, first of all. So, you know, uh, just a continuation for her. And just before we let you go, Ginny, what's, what's next for you? So I just have some rehab coming up. You know, it's not the most fun stuff, but it's uh, it's what I got to do. And uh, I'll hopefully heal very quickly and uh, be back on tour, you know, as soon as I can. And it's just about putting in the work day in, day out and uh, st staying in tune with tennis. Like I said, I can't not watch. I'm such a fan of the sport. So 
I'll be watching Wimbledon for the rest of uh, this week and next week and uh, just be counting down the days till I can get there. Well, we wish you all the best. Eugenie Bouchard, thank you so much for joining us. Just very quickly before we go, I want to just give you some quick results. Andre Rublev.